It's your body, so you should know everything about it, because knowledge is power. The more you know, the more comfortable you'll feel as you mature. You've probably heard a lot about eating right, exercising, not smoking, but when it comes to breast health, you may not have even thought about it. If you're like me, probably all you're thinking is, yours are too big, or too small, too high or too low, or the wrong shape compared to your best friend. We gotta talk, cause there's a lot more to them than that. Your breasts are part of what makes you a woman, curvy and shapely. If you decide to have children someday, your breasts produce some of the best nutrition on the planet. They can be circular or teardrop, one can be larger than the other, and the nipple can be pink, brown, or black. But what are breasts made of? Fatty tissue, nipples, milk ducts. The fatty fibrous tissue provides shape and support. Each breast has 15 to 20 lobes, and each lobe has many small lobules, like a stem of grapes. Your breasts begin to develop when you're a fetus, and they continue to develop throughout puberty. Estrogen and progesterone are the female hormones that your body produces that affects breast growth. One of the main functions of your breasts is to produce and secrete milk for feeding babies. There's a wide range of normal breast sizes, Breasts can change size as your body shape and size changes. One breast can develop faster than the other and stay larger. Be aware of what's normal for your breasts. Then you'll be able to notice any changes. With all the amazing lingerie stores out there, the hard part about choosing a bra is selecting from an outrageous selection. There's padded, lacy, striped, zebra, push-up, sport, green, blue, red, pink. To make sure you get the best fitting bra, there are two parts of your body you need to measure. Your cup size and your band size. Badly fitting bras take away from a smooth look and are uncomfortable. How can you tell? If your breasts are bulging out from the top sides or bottom, or the underwire is digging into your body, then it's too small. If the center front of the bra doesn't lie against your chest, or the bra moves away when you raise your arms, then it's too big. If your bra is riding up your back, then the straps are too tight. Staying healthy and taking care of your body includes breast health. You probably know someone who's had breast cancer, but you may not know exactly what it is. Cancer is uncontrolled cell growth. When the control cells don't function properly, they divide continuously forming a lump or a tumor. Only 20% of breast cancer occurs in women under 50. 52% in women 50 to 69 years old, and 29% in women 70 and older. So you're probably wondering, why should I worry? I'm under 20. Well, you're right. Less than one in two million women are diagnosed with breast cancer as teenagers. But your risk of developing breast cancer when you're over the age of 50 is very real. Here are some breast changes to watch out for over your lifetime and to talk to a healthcare provider about. A new lump, a change in breast size, shape, or color, a change in the nipple, spontaneous new or bloody nipple discharge, an eczema-like rash on the nipple, puckering or dimpling of the skin, skin that looks like an orange peel, skin that feels very thick. You'll be hearing from someone who's had breast cancer, and you'll hear why it's worth trying to reduce your risk now of getting it later. Okay, my name is Biff Naked, and as a solo artist, I've been putting records out since about 1993. My career is in social services, so I've always worked with difficult, you know, children and youth and teens. I felt what I thought was a chickpea, uh, and that's the best way I can describe it, under my skin. I had a phone call from my doctor's office uh, at, while I was at work, and they asked me to come in. And they said, you have breast cancer. She said, I have bad news for you, and I said, what's that? And she said, um, you have cancer. 
I was silent. I didn't know what to say. All I had was tears coming down my face and um, I was shocked. I just couldn't believe me. Like, I'm, I'm a young girl. How, how could I have cancer? I went through chemotherapy and radiation. You will need surgery. We're going to remove your right breast. Um, and you will need chemotherapy and radiation. And my first thought was my hair. Oh my God, I'm going to lose my hair. I don't want to lose my hair. That whole time I had lost all my hair and my eyebrows fell out. They still haven't grown back. So when I was having treatment, um, chemotherapy hit me the hardest. Chemotherapy attacks your whole body and it, wa it aims to kill the cancer cells. But as a result, your whole system uh, is toxic. You know, I'm born with two breasts and, and that's what defines us, our body parts. You know, that's what people tend to think of you being a woman is your female body parts. And I thought, wow, I'm gonna lose, you know, a breast. I, I loved hot dogs when I was a little kid. You know, I can't say that my mom feeding me hot dogs at lunch uh, contributed to me having breast cancer. But now, if I had a daughter, I would never feed her anything like that. So I think that if you were to maintain your healthy lifestyle, eating properly, exercising, that these things would help lower your risks of cancer later in life. I'm very positive, but I don't think that my body will ever be the same. Um, and I don't think that my life will ever be the same. Just little things that I, I think about I, that would normally stress me out before, I don't let it because I think, man, I beat cancer. Like, this is stressing me out, but I, I could beat cancer. I, I could do anything. You know, sometimes it takes cancer to enable us to just kind of revisit the things that we really want to do and enable us to live a more authentic life. If you choose to live a healthy lifestyle now, you'll be promoting good health for your body and your breast. There are some risk factors of breast cancer that you can't change, like your age and gender, or how old you are when you get your first period, or the history of breast cancer in your family. But there are a lot of things you can do to stay healthy and promote breast health. Things you can control that may help reduce your risk of getting cancer. Like eating healthy, exercising, not smoking, limiting or eliminating alcohol. Modify your lifestyle and you can reduce your chance of getting breast cancer by 38%. It's your choice. We're not here to scare you. We're here to check out some of the facts and toss away the myths so that we can figure out what's normal for your body and your breasts and not anybody else's. To empower the women in you with knowledge that could save your life. With the web and smartphones, iPads, Twitter, Facebook, and email, we get information overload 24-7. Trying to separate the facts from the myths is a real challenge, but here are some facts and myths about breast cancer. Myth. Wearing an underwire bra or wearing a bra when you're sleeping increases your risk of getting breast cancer. Fact. Your bra won't cause cancer no matter which type you choose or how long you wear it each day. Myth. Wearing antiperspirant increases your risk of getting breast cancer. Fact. There's no scientific proof to date that wearing antiperspirant causes breast cancer. Myth. If a family member has breast cancer, your risk of getting it are high. Fact, only 5 to 10% of all breast cancer is genetically inherited. 90 to 95% is not at all related to heredity. Myth, men can't get breast cancer. Fact, men can get breast cancer. It's a little risk, but possible. Apparently, most people overestimate or underestimate their risk of getting breast cancer. And medical research is really complex. So it's important to keep up to date with the latest info so you can separate the facts from the myths. We know lots about things that can increase your risk of getting breast cancer, but there are lots of things we still don't know. Even though there's no guarantee that you or I will never get breast cancer, here are a few things that you can do right now and throughout your life that can reduce your risk. They're easy lifestyle choices that you can make and they could save your life. So close up your laptop and do something you love. Run, jump, skip, dance. 
soccer, hockey, volleyball, Pilates, hip hop, skateboarding, or snowboarding. Chase the dog, bike with friends, run up and down the stairs. Whoa! Exercising seven hours a week during your teen years may help decrease your risk of developing breast cancer later in life because being active reduces your body's exposure to hormones and high insulin levels. My sport is track and field. I run the 400 hurdles. I've been on five national teams with the Canadian track and field team. Um, I've got to compete all over the world. I started skating with my partner Scott Moyer actually when I was seven and we've been skating together ever since and we compete internationally. I talk a lot about track and field which is my friends <laughs> dislike. I love dance whether watching or um, you know taking a class modern and ballet it's probably my number one passion. Uh, specifically with women in sport I feel like there's kind of a, a negative connotation with getting muscular or becoming very masculine almost. The best feeling is stepping off the ice after a great training session and you're covered in sweat. All those endorphins are just running through your body. I think there's that high that comes with exercise. Sport kind of gives you an opportunity to show your strengths as a woman. Pilates has turned into one of my great loves. Um, I, I leave a Pilates class feeling a few inches taller. Feeling strong, whether it's on the ice or in the gym, uh, makes me feel empowered and, and gives me confidence in every part of my life. I was involved not in a bad crowd, but definitely a crowd that was willing to explore and see what was out there. And I think, again, sport was my vehicle to a uh, healthier, happy, I feel like more educated life. Eat scrumptious healthy foods to maintain a healthy body. Fruits, veggies, legumes, and whole grains. Hummus, refried beans, broccoli, and whole grain pita. Mm. Blueberries, strawberries, yogurt, mix them up in a smoothie. Trade the junk food for seven servings of fruits and vegetables a day. And don't forget to stay hydrated. Drink plenty of water, milk, or soy milk. I love fruits and vegetables. I think I'm conscious of getting enough proteins. When I say balanced, I really mean balanced. It's not that I would ever tell myself I can't eat certain things, but definitely in moderation, you, you don't want to eat a batch of cupcakes in one night. I love chocolate and I love desserts, and I think that's important. Uh, I've learned not to deprive myself or else you know, I'll, I'll drive myself crazy. Smoking used to be considered cool but it's not cool to increase your risk of breast, lung, cervical, kidney, bladder, and many other types of cancers and health problems. Smoking or chewing tobacco puts cancer-causing agents called carcinogens into your body. Quit smoking or never start. And tell your parents and friends to quit too, because secondhand smoke is almost as bad. If you are confident enough with yourself, you're able to make the right choice that if your friends are gonna go out and smoke it, you can say, I'm gonna pass this time. I think it is important that you kind of make the right decision for your body because you're, you only get one. <laughs> and I smoked from 11 to 25. And then I smoked from 35 to 37. I mean, everyone knows it's bad for you. Uh, it's not even that cool anymore. And obviously everyone knows smoking causes lung cancer, but it also causes mouth cancer. It also contributes to breast cancer. And I wish I never smoked. Alcohol is a known carcinogen. It increases hormone levels, which is believed to be the mechanism behind an increased risk of developing cancer. Any alcoholic beverage may increase your risk of getting breast cancer, whether it's beer, wine, or liquor. So if you drink, try to limit the amount. It's hard because you do have, you have that pressure from your friends, and I, I did take part in a fair amount of 
festivities, but I could could have still attended those parties and had a good time without alcohol. It just I for some reason felt pressured to do so. The best you can do is to control what goes into your body. Then you can tackle the world and, and take on challenges and, and just know that you're being true to yourself and, and feeding your body the best you can. You've got the power to make the change. Eat healthy, exercise, don't smoke, limit your alcohol, and keep up on the latest research. Modify your lifestyle and you can prevent up to 40% of all cancers. It's easy to remember. Just think, be pink. P is for practice. Practice what you know. Eat healthy, be active, don't smoke, limit your alcohol. I is for investigate. Investigate the information. Make sure you know fact from fiction. N is for normal. Know what's normal for your body and breath. K is for knowledge. Knowledge is power. Practice. Investigate. Normal. Knowledge. Once you take charge, there'll be no stopping you. There's nothing like it. The Power Girls. Girl power. Pterodactyl. <laughs> <laughs>